Have you ever been asked the question, if you had one more day to live, what would you do? That question makes us all take a step back and evaluate life from where we're standing. Today, we're in Psalm 88 through 92. And in Psalm 90, the great man of God, Moses, gives us a wonderful description of God's eternal nature in comparison to man's frailty. After setting the stage with God's eternal power over all creation, Moses compares generations of people from God's perspective to a blade of grass in a single day. We rise up in vitality, flourishing in the morning, but by evening we are nearly at an end, dry and withered. Our life passes so quickly, and if we look at our life humbly, we really only have today. None of us know what's around the next turn of tomorrow or even the next hour. The heart of this psalm is captured in verse 12, where Moses prays, So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. The great Charles Spurgeon said this on the subject, Of all mathematical rules, this is the hardest, to number our days. Men can number their herds and droves of oxen and sheep, they can estimate the revenues of their manors and farms. They can with little pains number and tell their coins, yet they are persuaded that their days are infinite and innumerable, and therefore do never begin to number them. A simple verse, yet a great reminder for us to remember that life passes quickly and we get only one chance to live today. Make the most of every opportunity that the Lord allows to share His love, to shine His light, and to reveal His character to others. We live in a world that desperately needs to know that the God who creates and has control over all things offers forgiveness, unconditional love, and eternal life to all who trust in Him. So let's live today as the adventure God desires it to be for all of us and live like today is all you have to share his love and to live for him.